the movie called The Forecaster has been played throughout Europe for the last few months and the reviews are in. All the reviews from Europe are outstanding. People cannot say enough good things about this movie in Europe. But this is the movie that the bankers do not want you to see. So there was a huge amount of effort put in to keep this movie out of America. But it has been played in Europe throughout many countries and people are just amazed at how the truth is coming out. We at the European tribes of North America, we want to gain respect from the public servants. And of course the public servants are owned by the bankers. And this movie is showing that. Of course, the reviews from the American critics are not so not so good. Because you see the LA Times says it's a one sided movie. Of course, where do you think the LA Times and all the other media, where do you think they get their money to run their business? The banks. So, how corrupt is the banking system? You'll have to see the movie. But the reviews are in and they're outstanding. The forecaster, which the main character is Martin Armstrong, he was put in prison for seven years on civil contempt. He has the record for being in prison the longest in America for civil contempt, seven years. You talk about the Constitution and a speedy trial. Well, not if you're an enemy of the bankers. Can you believe it? Not even convicted, he not even convicted of anything. And they had him in prison for seven years, civil contempt, all because the bankers say, that's where they want you. Political prisoner? I think so. His software program, which is designed like artificial intelligence, AI, is based on pi and the cycles, the natural cycles that rule the world. And that's why his predictions are so close to being correct, because the artificial intelligence, the AI software, is based on cycles.